Alright, I hope you can hear me. Everything's working, so I'm just getting ready. Uh, with the airplane, I just started up first so she can warm up a little bit because as you know, I live in Canada and Canada stuck in winter. So, getting ready in the meantime, she's warming up. She's just really plugged. Um, she has like a oral heat pad or something. I don't know how you call that, but yeah. Uh, she has that plugged on uh, my solar panel system here. Uh, so she's been flying for a couple of hours. And, no, just let her warm up. She's in the green already, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, there's gonna plan here right on my iPad. So, fly plan here. Remove that. DPP stack, so you're gonna come with me. To work! So, I plugged everything in here. Then sent to pan. Sorry, sent to panel, um, and then activate the um, uh, routes in my GPS, just make sure everything looks alright on the planning here. So we have uh, settings at 3000, super speed between 2000 and 3000 in GL, so it's more than enough for where I need to go, so that's sweet. Alright, so flight plan is ready in the GPS, so that's good. We are in the green. Uh, we have all the pressure, all everything that we need, so that's perfect. Awesome. Well, let's rock and roll. So the taxiway is pretty icy, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with that. I should probably put my noise cancelling as well. There you go. So the airport I'm at is. Uh, it's a sweet airport in summer, it's full of old vintage airplane, as you know, or may not know. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I am flying more like old birds in summer and not so much, uh, uh, like I fly more, I have more old airplane stuff on my Instagram. And my YouTube video, because I can actually plug a GoPro on it, uh, it's more about this airplane. So it's two kind of different things, but you can follow me on both and it's pretty fun. Car traffic, get back exit and go back tracking 2 4 for the taxiway. Alright. So, to come out of my hangar, I need to cross the first runway here, so it's uncontrolled and uh, not runway that's in use anyway this time. So it's been a couple of weeks I haven't flown an airplane. I don't even remember if I, if I can actually fly the airplane, but we'll see that. So winds are down the pipe for runway 1-4, so that's perfect, I like it, because it's straight out to work. Uh, the flight will be around 20-25 minutes, depending if I pass by Hamilton. Uh, I'll see all, I might go around, I uh, have issues with my radios, and uh, there's days with and days without it, so... I'll see how the radios work. If I don't lose anything, I will pass through the zone. If not, I will just go around. This takes me like seven more minutes. It's not like a big deal or anything. The airplane is in the green already, so we're gonna G run up and we can go right away. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so I can't really put her too much nose to the wind because if not, the time I turn, I'm gonna be in, in the runway and we don't want that. So I'm gonna take my beautiful pineapple backlist here and up all right troll 2000 Arts back 100 perfect 100 not even perfect Everything is in the green, of course, and a uh, few light on vacuum, 4.85.2 PSI, I'm in a charging, charging is pretty good. We have decreased mixture of lean. Perfect, and natural idle. Awesome, back to 900 and carbide on cold. 
Altimeter set. Direction on zero, we don't have the issue here. 270 west here is perfect for Altimeter. Golf operator, 152, uh, golf field, field tango. Currently about five minutes to the west of the field, part of the water control zone, 2,600 feet, descending to 2,100. Uh, yeah. Perhaps we don't need safety briefing. I'm alone, door and windows locked, seat belt, and perfect. So, fuel pump on, landing light on, ow, throat on, perfect. No max on, both primal locked, McDonald reach cabin on cold, fuel pump on, awesome. And time, we're gonna know the time here. Uh, it is 13.09. Very good. There, yeah, awesome. Squad traffic, Quebec, exit, I'll go taking position 14 southbound departure 2005. Very good. Full power. We have power. Green, green, green. Awesome. We have airspeed. 55, rotate. And there she goes, Ooh, bird. And she's a sweetheart. Alright, green, green, green. She's doing great. A bit windy. Traffic to Lambert, Delta, turning final runway 14. Quad traffic, Quebec, 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 on the straight out, departure 2005, heading uh, southbound, leaving quicker two. Alright. Quad traffic, field, field, tank, overhead the field, crossing overhead the train, left down, one, one, four. Here we are, so, fuel pump off. We have fuel pressure. Ugh. Oh, why is she not gonna love it? Puppy. Alright, everything is uh under control here. Or... So I'm gonna switch. Hey, we'll join three final over the handcap. Oh okay, so so far I have two radios. Golf X-ray Lima Tower, what were your intentions for this approach? Fox Golf X-ray Lima, we extended just enough there so we can make this one a full stop. Golf X-ray Lima Tower, Roger, I check, thanks. Continue at number one. Number one for 1B, X-ray Lima, thanks. I love happy people on the radio. Golf X-ray Lima Tower, okay, I checked that, thanks. I was going to try and depart one ahead, but uh, that time he's not going to work out. So we 1409 are not clear to land, we 1-2. Clear to land, 1-2 from 9 uh, X-ray Lima. Altitude good. Uh, afternoon, Cogjet 584 Heavy with you. Uh, approaching up, go for the Alice 12. Cogjet 584 Heavy, Hamilton Tower, Lloyd, this is Juliet, runway 12, wind 140 to 8 knots, altimeter 299 or 2, continue in number 2, falling King Air traffic 2, final runway 12. 2992, we have Juliet, uh, we check around for number 2, Cogjet 584. And have those two guys on the ADs be there. That's pretty sweet. Cogjet 584, Tower, continue in number 2, spacing looks good, anticipate late landing clearance. Okay, 504, we check your marks off, bring the speed back now for you. That should work out like that. Okay, we'll keep it up. Line 1662, ground hold short of uh, Bravo on Alpha. Yes, sir, we're holding short. Right, I got uh, one inbound uh, via Delta there, so I'll have further for you momentarily. Okay. That a bird? Yeah, that's a bird. Hopefully it's a bird. Yeah, that's a big bird. Golf X-ray Lima Tower, exit oh Charlie on Charlie, contact ground 121 decibel 6. Are you? 216 on Charlie for X-ray Lima. Hey, so there's a bird doing this. That's freaking crazy. Target 584 tower, traffic exit at Charlie, wind 1407 knots, clear to land, runway 12. Clear to land, runway 12, we check the marks, target 584, thank you. 
This is uh, Golf Quebec X-ray Tango. Golf Quebec X-ray Tango, Hamilton Tower, Hamilton Altimeters 2992, what are your intentions? Just uh, took off from uh, Golf and would like to cross the zone on my way to uh, York for Quebec X-ray Tango. Quebec X-ray Tango, Terra Squad Code 5351. 5351 for Quebec X-ray Tango. West of the field, Quebec action on Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, take care. Fox Ray Yankee Lima Delta Medivac, Hamilton Tower. Eight is uh, Juliet Runway 12 and 1305 knots, altimeters 299 or 1, continue in number 1. Platinum 1662 Tower, would you be ready the immediate? A firm for 662. Obviously, after the 7 6 crosses. Final 1 6 6 2, Tower Roger, stand by 1. I'll have that for you momentarily. Roger. Hamilton, matter of fact, Charlie Fox again, get down to clear the ILS runway 1 2. Final 1 6 6 2, Tower, stay with me for now. Wind 1305 knots, clear to immediate takeoff, runway 06. Clear to immediate takeoff, runway 6, final 1 6 6 2. Fox Ray Yankee Lima Delta, Medivac, Hamilton Tower, Low End is Juliet, Runway 12, Wind 1205 knots, altimeter is 299 or 1, continue in number 1, departing 1 off runway 06. So, how's that, guys? So, we're probably passing just behind them. Yankee Lima Delta, Medivac Tower, Wind 1205 knots, clear to land, runway 12. Clear to land, 12, Yankee Lima Delta. Go back to X ray Tango Tower, what's your heading? I'm at a 195 for now, Quebec X ray Tango. Trade Tango Tower Vectors for York Fly Heading 120. 120, okay, Swoop 102 Tower, my TVFR traffic, 11 o'clock for 4 miles. They're turning southeast, bound maintaining position north of the approach, 2,400 feet, no conflict. Thank you, have it, Mount Tika. Final 1662 Tower, did have VFR, tar uh, VFR target, they're 500 feet below you, no conflict. Now contact Toronto Center for further 119 or decimal 7, so long. 19.7, thanks for all your help today. Oh, thanks for the hustle, appreciate it. Go back to X-ray Tango Tower, I do have 737 traffic, uh, 
Dutcher, 5 o'clock for 3 miles inbound. They're just out of 3,500 feet on the approach runway 12. I'll have further for you once he's below you. Okay, no worries. Get back, exit dog. Go back, x ray Tango Tower. Thanks. You can proceed direct to field and then on to York. Direct to field and then York for Quebec exit dog. So we're going to have uh, WestJet landing under us when we are passing above them. So you, Lima, Delta, Medivac, Tower, exit on not sure you're going to be able to see them on the camera, four, but I will enjoy the view for you. Delta, minimal delay. I do have uh, 737 traffic, 3 final runway 1 2. Thank you, Lima, Delta, taxi 2 4 Bravo, uh, Delta. Sweet. Thank you, Lima, Delta, Medivac, uh, Tower, all correct. Monitor to ground 1 2 1 decimal 6. No need for the call. Thank you, Delta, monitor 1 2 1 6. Thanks. 2102 tower traffic exits on to runway 24, wind 140 at 6 knots, clear to land runway 12. Clear to land runway 12 for soup. So 10, so thank you. Oh, that's uh, 2102 tower, that uh, Cherokee traffic off your left, 500 above, no conflict. Okay, check. Traffic inside. Hamilton Tower, Fox Turning Bravo Tango is uh, approximately half mile north of uh, Hamilton Harbor, uh, requesting a simulated ILS on uh, runway 12. Fox Road, Indian Bravo, Tango, Hamilton Tower, identify 10 northeast of the field, 2,500 feet. Hamilton near you, altimeters 299 or 1, you're going direct to Ancaster. A firm direct to Ancaster, Indian Bravo, Tango. Indian Bravo, Tango, uh, Tower, Roger, I do have uh, 767 on approach runway 12, is there something else you'd like in the meantime? Uh, we can uh, we can go north, northbound and then uh, directly join uh, the ILS approach, if not from uh, Ancaster, Indian Bravo, Tango. So pretty. Indian Bravo Tango uh, Tower Roger. We could do the ILS via Sethby. Yeah, we could do it from Sethby, Indian Bravo Tango. Indian Bravo Tango Tower Roger, you're cleared into the uh, north downwind uh, for runway 12 via Sethby APGOM. Maintain a position north of the approach runway 12 at all times. We'll stay north uh, at all times and clear for that uh, ILS approach, simulated ILS, ILS approach from uh, Sethby, Indian Bravo Tango. Indian Bravo Tango Tower Roger, maintain VFR at all times and watch for unreported traffic outside the handle control zone. Indian Bravo Tango. Group 102 Tower, exit on runway 24, taxi runway 24, Charlie to the apron and monitor ground 121 decimal 6. No need for the call. Exit 24, 24, Charlie to the apron, we'll monitor ground 2102. Well, that was exciting. I have to be a little bit focused, I'm just by myself today so I don't have anybody to. Uh, be my safety pilot, so I can only take pictures for you, but uh, yeah, we're just above Hamilton Airport. Beautiful airplane just landed there. Gives me a lot of motivation all the time I see big jets like that. I just... Good day, Calder. Two, just push me to, uh, six, to keep uh, on pushing and, uh, and fighting for my drivers. I want to approach with uh, two jets. Target 2386, heavy Hamilton Tower, low. Julian is current, runway 12, wind 140 at 7 knots. Also, there's 2991, clear to land, runway 12. Push a clear to land one two calculate two three eight six two nine and nine one. So York is basically just touching the zone of Hamilton, so sometimes it's a little bit tricky. because uh, I have to switch back and forward. Um so my radio seems to be working today, so we should be alright. No, I lost the radio again. So yeah, I lost radio, so the number one, like when I do tests and everything, I'm on both and it doesn't work. Uh, it's an issue that I do have with that airplane. I'm going to try to change it if I can on the next annual. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to keep uh, Hamilton now and Hamilton Tower, light flight three. Uh, switch last light minute and see how it goes. Hamilton, 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 I know York is a clown airport, and with the weather like it is right now, probably not too much flying going on, so I should be all right, and it's a control. Two tower, Roger, wind to the field, one four zero six knots, lift off Hamilton General, your discretion. Maintain a position north of the approach. So let's see if you can release me a little bit earlier, so I can do my radio calls, but for now that's how it works. Okay, we'll stay north of the approach for one two, let's say three. Uh, Life Flight 3 Tower identified about uh, four and a half northeast of the field, 1,300 feet. Heading west for London's approved. Looks like I'll have further for you in about four miles. Just want to see how close you are there for wake turbulence. That's a three, Roger. We can uh, stay lower if, it, if you need to send it away. Uh, Life Flight 3 uh, Tower, no, that should work out just fine, actually. Current heading till uh, advised. That's Vectors, London. Life Flight 3, Roger. Habitat Tower, Quebec, Exo Tango has the field inside. Back X-ray 
Tank, go tower. Thanks for the help. Surveillance service in Hamilton terminates. You can change on route. No observed traffic between you and York at this time. Adam, thanks a lot for your help, Quebec Action Tango. Long. York traffic, back where you're going. Quebec X ray Tango is four miles to the north of the field in Buffalo Landing. Alright, clear to the right. York traffic, Quebec X ray Tango is joining me. Left on wind, one sex. Full stop. Alright, we're gonna slow down. Better speed in the white arc. Gonna start dropping the flaps. Alright, we're going a little bit high. More flaps here. Sorry, the power. I think that's perfect. Traffic, get that guy, so don't go find out what's next. 